right, we're on our way down to uh, Louisiana uh, to hopefully intercept uh, Hurricane Ida here. Uh, had to get a rental car, and like a Toyota Corolla. <laughs> it's not better, I chase in a Kia Soul normally, so yeah, it doesn't really make much of a difference there, but in a Toyota Corolla, heading down to Louisiana to intercept what is possibly going to be a major hurricane uh, upon landfall. NHC has it making landfall uh, as of the 11 p.m. update, I think around uh, a Cat 3 strength, or 11 a.m. update, my bad, as uh, at Cat 3 strength, and um, I'm kind of expecting it to be more than that. I'm thinking that she's going to make a run at Cat 4, uh, probably maybe squeak out a Cat 5, um, but I mean, there is just, the environment is just primed for this one, so heading down there to cover it, and uh, Hopefully I can stay safe and get some good footage. See you guys there. All right, we're less than 24 hours out from a major hurricane making landfall here um, in Louisiana. Uh, today is going to be the scouting and preparation day, so hopefully I can find a safe place close to shore uh, to watch this storm come in. If not, I may have to sit further inland. We'll see. Stuck in the evacuation traffic, going a whopping two miles an hour. Oh, three. Once I was past all the evacuation traffic, I made my way down to the town of Homa. Once there, I went out and scouted the area with some other storm chasers. Unfortunately, there was no safe area in the town we could ride out the storm, especially with the forecasted storm surge. The night was mostly sleepless, so we walked around, finding entertainment and watching a school of garfish in the nearby river. The next morning we headed up to Thibodeau, Louisiana, to a parking garage with several other storm chasers already in it. By this point, the outer bands of the hurricane were coming on shore, and winds had begun to pick up. It's coming on the that's diesel, generator. that's that generator yeah. picking on. All those transformers along that road just blew all in a line. The power quickly went out, causing the generator for the hospital to kick on. Unfortunately, the generator wasn't working correctly, and the power flickered for quite some time. With the inner core of the storm moving closer, we decided to drive around a bit, looking for a place to set up my hurricane probe. Alright, getting the probe set up here, which is just a GoPro Euro 07 on a stick that I will then turn on before the eye wall gets going. Be careful that it doesn't rip the door off. <laughs> making its final approach.
Rope time. Rope time. Oh. Oh. There we go. Oh. Woo! Guys, we have turned on the probe. Chunks coming off the roof. Uh, that one flying? Yeah. Oh yeah. I think I can zoom it Coming, she's coming. <laughs> See that wind shifting? Tree lines vanishing. A big limb just snapped off that tree. Wow. Big limb just snapped off that tree. Did it? Yeah, that was a big pop.
That was a whole roof that just came off. That was a whole roof. Yeah, it was like, the, it was like, a, it was almost yeah, they're, they're gonna support a little bit. I'm pretty sure like half a roof just came off. See the trees over there. son. Fortunately for us, the storm slowed down and shifted east, leaving us in the outer eye wall for almost eight hours straight, getting rocked by winds of almost 110 miles an hour and leading us to missing the eye altogether.
After going around many roads blocked with flood water or debris, I finally managed to make my way back to the highway and began the long drive back home. The destruction unleashed upon Louisiana that day was unimaginable, but the people there are strong and good people, and they will rebuild stronger. Here is a look at our location in relation to the eye. This is the closest we got before the storm turned north. Even though we may have missed the eye, the real experience was chasing such a powerful storm with such good friends. Tyler Kurtz and Hunter Arrington, this was their first hurricane, and I think they're hooked now. Please go check out Tyler's channel through the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and checking out some of my other videos. Thank you all so much for the support, and thank you for watching.